Fest in Karlsruhe. Das Fest in Karlsruhe is a real legacy from early DNB. We've been doing it for years, decades even. Each time we've had the opportunity to try out something new. It's here that we tried out the J series. We developed a sub-array tuning, advanced the design of array processing, and we have a great relationship with the engineers. There's a hospital about 180 to 200 meters away from the main stage. There's a care home five or 600 meters away, and of course there are houses all around. We've always had to be careful not to send too much level in their direction. The coverage area looks totally different from different angles due to the hilly nature of the site. And the task is to find a good compromise that offers the best experience for all. That's something we've got good at over the last two to three three years with array processing. And now we're here with the new GSL. What we really want to try with the new system this year, apart from what comes out up front, we're sure that'll work well, is mainly issues concerning the environment. That means noise emission measurements. GSL is obviously the solution to lowering the emission levels in the surrounding residential areas, and this lets an organizer offer more to the audience. That's when people come up to you, or the sound police, or sound engineers, and say, what's going on? That's even better. That's even more consistent. I can walk the whole way up the hill, and whatever height I'm at, wherever I am, there's great bass and the same intelligibility everywhere. I get the same level and the same tonality. How is that possible? Ich habe die gleiche Höhe, ich habe den gleichen Sound wie geht und das. The main thing you notice here is the interaction between the main system and the outfill system. Personally, I think they blend together really smoothly. You can go between the mains and the outfills and all of a sudden it comes from somewhere else. But there's no real sound difference in between anymore. We've just done a sound check with the new PA. It's very direct. Everything is sharp and clear, and for me, it worked straight out of the box. The new PA is definitely aimed at the top of the market, so I expect it'll be mainly used at large festivals, stadiums, or arenas. At the end of October, beginning of November, we took it on tour for the first time. And we were also involved a bit in the preparations. So you could say we had a beta version 1 and we used it for the big venues. Everything was done without delay hangs. We got really good results and we're looking forward to using it more. So you can really say, the baby is stretching its wings and preparing to leave the nest.